New Year is just around the corner and while I am preparing my digital planner for the coming New Year in my OneNote, I thought I'd share my digital planner and OneNote calendar with all of you. Now at the end of this video, I will share with you how to download and set up this nice OneNote planner with monthly and weekly calendar. So let's jump into my OneNote and I'll show you how it looks like. Now this is my OneNote calendar. Now I set it up. You see, we have uh, January calendar, February, March, okay. All set it up nicely over here. Yeah. So keep watching and then at the end, I'll tell you how you can uh, download this straight away, right? I already created or modified this template that I get it for calendar labs. Then you can just download it and set it up. So this is how it looks like. So we're going to set it up the January, yeah. And then uh, we have this weekly planner. Yeah, I also create this weekly planner for you as well. So let's come back to this. So January here, you can uh, have this like, this is a holiday. You can set it up your holiday and then you can type in anything that you want. All right. Now you want to use this for your photo journal. You can do that as well. Let's say for example, you like to take photos and just click here, go to pictures, and then from your file, you can basically put in any, right? Photos. It will fit right into this box nicely. And you can add on, right? So I want to add on to other things. Okay, you can add on to that. Now, once you set up in your desktop, you can do this, right? If you take photographs from your phone, then you can just add the image right from your phone. Let me just show you a quick one. Let's say, for example, I just go to my phone, uh, OneNote, and I'll just add the image. All right, here you are. You can see that I add in the nice uh, food photos that I taken yesterday, right? You can add the photo right in the calendar itself. Yeah. So it is very useful to have your monthly calendar and you can plan your monthly right in just one page over here. So my recommendation is set it up in your desktop. Then you can use it in your mobile or tablet anyway. Second is that you have this uh, weekly calendar, right? For example, if you have, uh, let's say I'll show you a new page here. I want to do like weekly for two. But it's blank, right? So every time I got to do it again and again. So now once you have this set up, what you can do is, uh, let me just delete this off. Come over here and then you just go to the insert, find page templates here. Go to page templates right here and then put in here, right? Save current page as a template. Click here. And then put it a name. Let's say this is week. Uh, two, 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 five. Okay. And then I can save it. So it goes into my template right over here. You see weekly planner. So every week when I want to add new one, I just go insert, find this uh, page templates. Yeah. Now you can't find it over here because I haven't used it. So you just go page template, you can see the, the windows right over here and then you just click here. It will come out like this, right? And then you can just drag, okay? Now, if you use this, it will be something like this. All you need is just drag it in and then you become like a subfolder, right? So drag it in and you just change this to Week number two, then you can use it, right? For two, yeah? And then you can put the dates, whatever the dates, yeah? Uh, January to when? Okay, let me see. Week two is five to 11. Okay, so five, dash 11 January, something like that. All right, so this is how you set it up. 
yeah, for your weekly. Now, if you want to do a journal, daily journal or daily planning, you can do that as well. So let me pull out. This is my simple journal template that I already set up. So I can click like this. Okay. So let's say this is January 1. So I combine my uh, gratitude journal. Okay. Uh, intention and execution. This is what I plan to do for the day. And then what's my journal thoughts and what's my learning. These are simple ones, right? So you can just create on your own. Now, because it is like uh, daily that I write, okay? So what I can do, I can put it right over here. And I want that every time I add a page, it will automatically come out with this. So how do you do it? It's very simple. Because this is my simple journal template. I already save it as a template. Then here, come over here, always use specific template. Just go over here and then select the simple journal template. All right, so once I set this up, you see when I click here again, automatically you have this so that I don't need to always go to my template. Then I can have this O2, day number two, yeah. So I can do like this. All right. So this is how you can set up your planner for 2025. Yeah. So you have your monthly, weekly. This is your monthly, weekly, and daily setup. All right. So I hope this video will show you a simple digital planner that you can use to help you organize your work and your daily life. Yeah. Now, Come back to how to set it up, yeah? Go to the link below and download the file, right? I already created the file. Just go to my website and then download the file. The file should have the file extension dot one, okay? Or O-N-E, right? So once you download the file, double click that file and then you can see something like this, right? So you open it, this like open section, and then you want, if you don't have this like a journal, you just create a right click it and then move it. Yeah, if you have all your, your own journals, right? You can do that move, copy to a specific notebook that you have. Or you can just come in page by page. You can just basically click over here, select the calendar and then copy and paste. Let me control C. And then let's say you go over here, I add a page. Now you see this page is already, I already set the template. So all you need is just that you have to, you want blank page, then you have to go in here, yeah, and select, uh, let me open this again. Select the blanks, right? The default, it'll be a blank page. And then you can copy, paste the calendar in it. Or you can redesign. You will have this and you want this uh, calendar at the bottom. You can do that as well. Okay. So this is how you set it all up. Same thing with your weekly planner. Yeah. Now I already present all this for you and uh, it's customizable. You can change all this to your own likings. Yeah. So just go download it from my website. And I hope this will help you to become more productive in the coming new year. So this is Andrew. If you like this type of videos, do subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell. And I will see you real soon in my next video.